So uh, yeah, in front of me we have a, uh, a box that contains the first ever parts that were built off of the Earth's surface. They're built on the International Space Station. Uh, so yeah, let's open this thing up. All right. Oh, more paperwork. And a copy of the uh, 1149. A lot of foam. So let's see, bag number one. Look like, uh, wow, they're sealed up pretty good. Some scissors would help. I don't want to cut into the bags they're that they're double, in. Double bagged with the third bag. Yeah. On side. And this should just be a zip bit. All right, so. Let's see, this is um, 018. This was a tensile, or this is a tensile coupon. Um, we use this to test mechanical samples. 014. Tensile coupon 3. No. NASA Ames CubeSat part. Oh, little, yeah, a little clip for a CubeSat. So this one is pretty interesting. It's a ratchet that was built. And it was also up, up, uplinked uh, from the ground. It wasn't on the printer, um, on the printer's memory to begin with. Let's see how this one turned out. Actually, it looks pretty good. So this ratchet's actually supposed to move. I don't want to mess with it too much right now, but it's really just kind of a a proof of concept that you can build functional parts in space. So the astronauts, if they need if they need a ratchet or whatever other tool they might need, uh, they could just build it on demand and not have to wait a month or two for the resupply mission. Uh, 010, 019, 017. Well, that's all that's in the box. This one I'm excited to see, as it was actually built with several cantilevers with no support structure. Yeah, so with this we'll see how, how far, how much of an overhang we can build and still make a geometrically good quality part. My favorite part out of all of these. Uh, so yeah, now that we have everything out of the box, um, We'll start testing them. Uh, so first they'll go, uh, for, well first they'll get their pictures taken. And uh, so we can get an official comparison of the, the ground control samples which we've already um, taken those pictures. Uh, so if there's any difference between the part, any visible difference, uh, then we'll be able to, to take note of that. And then they'll go through uh, what's called a structured light scanning. And so it'll scan the outer geometry and then compare that back to the original CAD model. We really want to find out if there's any difference in how the layers uh, adhere to each other in microgravity versus 1G. And the printer is uh, still on the space station. It's, um, we're gearing up for phase two. We have more, um, more practical parts rather than just, um, this is mostly test, test coupons. Uh, so the next phase of prints will be uh, practical coupons, more like the ratchet, um, but different different tools, tools and items that the that the astronauts could potentially use.